from the Philippines. I'm from Phoenix. Hey, you, you know who we are. Welcome, Welcome to, to the hotel. <laughs> hotel. Elizabeth. We honestly don't always get that right. <laughs> what? <laughs> We've been staying at the Hotel Elizabeth Cebu. Cebu, yeah. That we had some dental work to be done and we brought mama and papa back to have them go to their first time to the dentist yeah and to to get a checkup they, they've had teeth pulled at the dentist but they've never had a checkup or a cleaning or anything like that but uh i got fitted for a heart pump. papa kind of got a little nervous and decided not to but we managed to talk him into it yep. this is our Morning fourth day. We, we've had a little bit of debate. Is it the third or fourth day that we've been here? But it's definitely been a repeated day. We really like the Hotel Elizabeth. Yep. Under normal situations, they've got some really good room and awesome breakfast buffet. So let's check it out inside because of the noise with the taxi and everything. So come uh -oh. on. And this is the main entrance. And you've got the foot bath that you need to step in. And there's always a door greeter for us. My Muntak. And this is our new normal. Yep. <laughs> the back here, they've got a bar that's normally open. I'm not sure how much of it is open right now. Yeah, open. I guess they're asking. Up those stairs is a mezzanine that they've got a nice little restaurant up there that you can go to again under normal situations. Okay, he's saying it is open that you can order food. No, that was up on the third floor, fourth floor? No, it's here. No. Did it all work? Yeah, it used to be. The breakfast buffet here. Okay, because we've gotten it before. Because you need to go and then go inside. That's a big place here. Because you've been staying here for oh, okay, yeah. See? They've got two different ones then because we would, one of them was up on like the fourth floor. I don't remember, but I don't remember, but I just remember here. Five years ago. <laughs> Two, years ago. But, yeah. But here's the elevators. And we're actually going to stop on the third floor. Yeah. That they've got a gym and a... Uh, smoking lounge. A smoking lounge patio area. Yeah. That's actually kind of cool in that area. Cool. Yeah. Again, typical hotel. You got the card key thing. Yep. And this one, you can't even get off the first floor without the car. Yeah, or, or, or even in the basement, you know? So. The, I think they've got a pool here, or had a pool. Oh, no. That one time I ran across it. Yeah, but they're not using it right now. So here's the, uh, here's the smoking lounge. Someone is cleaning, maybe. It looks like this may have been like a patio bar or something like that at one point. Yeah. But it's actually kind of a neat little area. Mm -hmm. It's kind of got some nice mountain views. Before they did that building, it had some really nice mountain views here. Yeah. And down there is where we started out at. Uh, well, yeah, sadly, I'm a smoker, and I come down here okay. eh, relatively frequently, and I've had coffee down here, and it, it's actually a nice little place. Yeah. And the gym. Cindy's come down and done the gym before, but at this point, we're not sure if the gym's open. Again, with the new situations, turn the car key. That's it. 
No. No, it's not working. Yeah, it's not open. We hadn't seen anybody in here this time around, and it looked like most of the equipment was unplugged, so we hadn't even tried yet. But normally that's got a really nice little gym that you can work out in and just get your morning routines. Yeah. Now, each floor has a water dispenser. But none of them are plugged in. <laughs> so it's just a dispenser. It's not a cooler. Yeah, that's true. Now we're staying on the ninth floor. And this is a bit debate we just had. Yeah. Just I remember having to come to the fourth floor that there was a big ballroom and stuff like that. And I think that's where the the pool that I remember seeing a pool or something. That might be a different hotel. No, that's this hotel. We could go for a fourth floor, just six floor. You want to go? We'll try that later. We'll let you know how that one worked out. And here's our room. But we are on ninth floor in 908. And we stayed there five years ago. Yeah. Crazy mama and papa. Just... We've been here often enough that we're starting to repeat the same rooms. Yeah, we like this because one, they have a, like a dining room. That they have a neat little area that you can eat. So because of the new normal, we actually, food are delivered for breakfast. Yeah, instead of the uh, breakfast buffet, the, you, you still get free breakfast, but you order the night before and yeah. they bring them up. And so the, the dining area actually worked out really well that they've got the, the microwave and a hot pot. Kind of a little kitchenette area and yeah. that's really cool. And then we have a bathroom here. No. That in this hotel, in this room suite, you actually have two bathrooms. You've got a nice little shower, toilet, all that good stuff. Yeah. And a living room slash another bedroom. For mama and papa. And yeah, this is the living room that when we tell them mom and papa are with us that they'll make up one of them, one of the couches as a bed and a nice little desk area yeah. that really cool views out on that one. And, the and then you've got the master suite. Yeah, Again with a little desk, another TV. And here's the view from here. Yeah, we stayed here. It's um, actually the same view you see this is facing that street is the one we were in front of when we first started the video we've yeah. got the same math same same view so this is our third day our um check out day so as yes, you can see we're kind of cleaning up i tried to put i don't know i just got used to with the rnb airbnb so just put all this in here so that's actually cool and we have a Closet here. Again, the safe that I like because it's wide enough that you can fit both computers computer. in there. Yeah. And all every room that we've stayed in here has, has had that. We typically stay. Uh, they call this the executive suite. Or yeah. Anywhere? And they have a pop bath. And in right? here they've got a full bathtub. big guy in the, in the uh, mirror. Yeah, did that, did, does mama have one out here? No, just okay. here. But. That's actually it. That's we, actually it. We stayed here for the reason that uh, we'll have um, dental, you, get, you know. Yeah, we came for the dental, dental appointment this, this trip. Yeah. We stay in this hotel because of this room. Yeah. It, it is very reasonably priced that the price fluctuates so we, we we've never really discussed yeah. exact figures not that we're keeping secrets but yeah it fluctuates from time to time that we are here because we actually discovered this room by accident during Jersey cinema five, five years, years ago, ago after our marriage after and our marriage. the hotel that i had Your booked wedding. canceled at the last minute yeah and they happen to have this in this room this well, matter of fact this exact room uh but it was like double their normal price yeah well, which made it kind of pricey yeah uh, still less than you'd expect to pay in the u.s but but still really pricey by filipino standards and 
we liked it enough that we found out that after Cinelog, the price dropped by, by literally 50%. And we've been coming back ever since because it's, the room's under a hundred bucks. Yeah. And, uh, I think we paid as little as 60. Yeah. Uh, this trip we're paying, I think 72. And so, like I say, by the season, by a lot of things, it, and we got a, a pretty yeah. decent discount off that 72 is what the, we always book through Expedia. Yeah, that's true. So, like I said, the price fluctuates quite a bit, but it's definitely a, a beautiful stay. Uh, you can't quite see it, but Ayala it's is... It's a walking distance to Ayala. Uh, yeah, it's less than half a mile yeah. to that way. Uh, Fuente Circle is, again, you can't see anything, so There's I don't know why I'm showing that, but the other side of that building is, uh, I, uh, you could see the the buildings in, in uh, Fuente Circle where the, the main part of the, the parade for uh, Cinelog is. Yeah. They have a ton of functions going on in, in these street dances because there's several big hotels right here that all cater to Cinelog because it's so central to everything. Yeah, so. But that is our extended, extended hotel, hotel review, review for Hotel, hotel Elizabeth, Elizabeth Cebu. Cebu. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mabuhai. Bye -bye. We could use it. Uh, we could use it. This is the parking for Hotel Elizabeth. Yeah. And over there's our little ray of sunshine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's been, she's been alone.